hi everyone welcome to all of you for this video lecture myself m krishna working as assistant professor in triple e department st peter's engineering college in this video we are going to discuss loss components and efficiency of three phase induction motor basically there are two types of losses occurring in three phase induction motor they are constant or fixed losses variable losses when we see constant losses in detail the name itself sensing something in throughout the operation of the three phase induction motor these losses are maintaining constant values initially at starting position the constant losses values are zero look at this constant losses are those losses which are considered to remain constant overall normal working range of induction motor these losses can be easily obtained by performing no load test on three phase induction motor these losses are furtherly classified as iron losses mechanical losses brush friction losses as we know iron or core losses are furtherly divided into two types one is eddy current loss another one is hysteresis loss eddy current loss means circulating currents are flowing in the core material that circulating currents are going to be making the loss look at the statement here eddy current losses are minimized by using laminations on core laminations means to avoid the path to flow the circulating currents for that purpose some impregnated paper or mica material some varnish using as lamination laminations on core to avoid the circulating currents since by laminating the core area is going to be decrease and resistance increases which in turn decreases the eddy currents coming to hysteresis loss hysteresis loss is purely depends on the magnetic properties of core after the electrical energy is supplied to the stator core the winding is going to be carrying the current and the poles are becoming electromagnets the magnetic properties are having the some range after the range they are going to be saturated means magnetic materials are going to be saturated even though you are increasing the electrical energy to that particular magnetic materials in such conditions the hysteresis loss is going to be takes place the wastage of some loss is going to be takes place in core that what we call hysteresis loss this hysteresis loss can be minimized by using high grade silicon steel this silicon material is around 0.3 mm to 0.5 mm is going to be added 
to steal in its process so that the hysteresis loss is going to be reduced not vanished but we can reduce the eddy current loss and hysteresis loss like this when we see mechanical losses mechanical losses means rotational losses mechanical losses occur at the bearings bearings are used to rotate the rotor very freely so at a particular uh, operation the motor is going to be making some noise if the bearings are going to be damaged or like that uh, mechanical losses are takes place in the induction motor and brush friction losses because of frictioning effect due to brush contact with the slip rings in case of wound rotor induction motor in case of slip ring induction motor the friction losses are takes place basically these losses are zero at starting with the increase in speed these losses are increasing in three phase induction motor generally the speed is remains constant hence these losses almost remains constant means the constant losses or fixed losses depends on the speed of the three phase induction motor three phase induction motor is almost maintaining the constant speed it is not the synchronous speed it is other than the synchronous speed please mind it coming to second type variable losses the other name for variable losses is copper loss these losses are occurring in copper material means in the windings of the stator and rotor when the current is flowing through the stator winding and rotor winding these losses are going to be occur and the current in the rotor and stator depends on the load changes if the load is increased automatically the current flowing through flowing in the rotor and stator is also going to be increasing means changes therefore these losses are also furtherly increases and we can say that directly the variable losses are purely depends on the current values hence these losses are variable losses the copper losses are obtained by performing block rotor test on three phase induction motor so this is the background of uh, loss components coming to efficiency efficiency of three phase induction motor is defined as the ratio of the output power to the input power actually there exists some power stages where the power is conversion takes place from electrical energy into mechanical energy actually the electrical energy is supplied to the stator winding then thereafter stator copper losses and iron losses takes place from that the input is uh, uh, produced the induced voltage will be there on the rotor bars after that rotor bars are uh, carrying the currents after carrying the rotor uh, current uh, rotor bars are having the copper loss and because of it is rotating and developing the mechanical power once the mechanical power developed then there exist uh, windage and friction losses apart from windage losses and friction losses we'll get motor gross mechanical power output in the middle stage where the power conversion takes place is the gross mechanical power developed at the last it is net mechanical power developed so look at this efficiency is equal to the power developed at shaft this is net mechanical power output available at the shaft to the 
the main analytical input to the motor. Like that, we can calculate the efficiency of the three phase induction motor. So, you can able to understand this video easily. I hope you can understand. Thank you.